This is Everyday Math, and today we're talking about the Fibonacci Spiral. The Fibonacci Spiral is derived from the Fibonacci Sequence, which is named after Leonardo Fibonacci, the Italian mathematician. He actually wasn't the first mathematician to come up with this sequence, it was used in the East before he created it, however he was the first Western mathematician to come up with it. He's also believed to be a major reason why the Hindu-Arabic numeral system is used today. That's the numbers that look like this. Anyway, the original Fibonacci Sequence began with the number 1, and then another number 1, and then each consecutive number was derived from adding the last two numbers. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, and so on. So if you start with square size 1 and add another square of size 1 beside it, and then you add another one of size 2 beside those, another one of size 3 beside that, and you draw a spiral, that is how you get the Fibonacci spiral. Now although it seems like a fairly arbitrary idea, it's actually observable in many places in nature. For example, let's take a shell. If you look at this shell and you compare it to a Fibonacci spiral, you'll see that the shell follows the spiral perfectly. Now let's take it to a bigger scale, and let's look at a hurricane. If you look at the, the cloud structure of a hurricane, you'll notice that it also very closely follows a Fibonacci spiral. Maybe we want to go even bigger, you say. Well, now let's look at a spiral galaxy. Again, if you notice the spiral galaxy arms, very closely follow the Fibonacci spiral. Now, the spiral is not the only thing in nature that's observable using the Fibonacci sequence. If you look at the plant sneeze war, you'll always notice that the number of flowers is a Fibonacci number. This is because the stem growth is actually modeled by the Fibonacci sequence. As you can see on this graph, it starts with 1 and then goes to 2, 3, 5, 8, and continues on through the Fibonacci sequence. In fact, nature seems to love the Fibonacci sequence and anything related with it. The Fibonacci sequence, the spiral, and more importantly, the golden ratio, which many things including seeds, petals, pineapples, everything else follows. However, we'll get to that in a later video. Thanks for watching.